All right, it's still the National Math and Science Initiative and it's still AP Physics 2 video professional development. This is still module one, but we're on the last video, yay! We're gonna talk about how students can learn to represent fields and potentials, representing fields with the vector diagrams and potentials with the isoline contours or whatever you wanna call it. My name is John Friendsley, Prosper High School, Prosper, Texas. All right, what, what, what we want students to do, we want them to construct and interpret diagrams illustrating electric field that show electric field vectors at various points in space. See the third free response in the AP course description for AP Physics 2, the big document on uh, College Board website. Um, hopefully there you can see what a vector diagram looks like. And then we also want students to construct and interpret diagrams that illustrate electric potential showing what we call ISO lines. That means every point on the line has the same ISO, same electric potential. Um, and we want them to understand the relationship between electric field and electric potential so that students can draw conclusions about the field and potential when they're shown either type of diagram. When they're shown either type of diagram, the vectors or the ISO lines, they need to be able to talk about both types of effects, both electric field and electric potential, even if they're only shown field or only shown potential. All right, I would start my students on the charges and fields FET applet. That's from the Physics Educational Technology out of UC Boulder. This applet can be used to construct basic electric field diagrams and electric potential isoline diagrams. So let's have a look at it right now.